Meyerhofen is a large, attractive, traditional village in the scenic Zilla Valley, or Zilla Tal as it's locally known, nestled in the heart of the Austrian region of Tyrol. It's one of the biggest names in Austrian mountain tourism and is a long-standing favourite with Brits. In this video, we will show you the most important things you need to know before booking a vacation in Meyerhofen. And if you stick around until the end of the video, you will get some great tips which will help you make better decisions, save time and money, and have a more enjoyable vacation. So, how do you get to Meyerhofen? The closest airports to Meyerhofen are Innsbruck, with a transfer time of one hour, and Salzburg or Munich, with a transfer time of two hours each. Take note that during the month of February there are big traffic jams on Saturdays from Munich and Salzburg to Meyerhofen and back. You can buy a train ticket to Meyerhofen at Munich Airport, with changes at Munich Central Station, Kufstein and finally at Jenbach for a local Zillertal Bahn connection. A round-trip ticket is likely to cost between 60 and 120 euros. As the main transport hub of the valley, the Meyerhofen railway station is served by a local bus service to the village, while buses also run through the valley on an hourly basis. Meyerhofen ski has a long season, beginning in early December, lasting right through to late April. The ski area of Meyerhofen spans from 630 metres above sea level to 2,500 metres above sea level. Interestingly, however, with the exception of one of the runs that descends from Ahorn Plateau down into town, there's no skiing back to the town. Many of the slopes are south-facing, which can be good in the middle of winter. However, the lower altitude south-facing runs can be problematic in milder March, but we'll address the solution to that later in the video. The ski area of Meyerhofen itself has 137 kilometers of ski runs. But when combined with the Super Zillertal ski pass for the whole Zillertal area, it boasts a huge 535 kilometers of ski runs for your enjoyment, making the Zillertal Valley the valley with the most ski runs in the whole of Austria. From the 535 kilometers of the Zillertal, 116 are separated into small areas you won't bother to try. We recommend on four ski areas with a total of 419 kilometers. The Zillertal Arena, featuring a huge 143 connected ski runs, is the largest single ski area. And here's how to get there from Meyerhofen. From Meyerhofen, you can take the Zillertal Bahn to Zellam Zilla and then the Red Line ski bus to Rosenalm Bahn Lift in order to explore the Zillertal Arena with a journey time of 20 minutes. The second ski area, with 91 kilometers of connected ski runs, is ski optimal. From Meyerhofen, you can take the Zillertal Bahn to Kaltenbach and then walk five minutes to Hochzillertal Gondola to explore ski optimal. The total journey time is just 30 minutes. The third ski area is the Hintertux, with 60 kilometers of runs and a glacier where you can ski up to 3,250 meters above sea level. To get there, you should take the Green Line bus from Zillertalbahn station, a drive that will take around 40 minutes. The last big ski area in the Zillertal is, of course, the main ski area of Meyerhofen itself, with 125 kilometers of ski runs. Overall, the Meyerhofen ski area is divided into two distinct areas and comprised of 13 black runs, 27 red runs and 15 blue runs. The first ski area is Ahorn, aka Ahorn Plateau, home to a total of 12 kilometers of slopes and connected to the center by the Ahorn cable car. Ahorn features several easy blue runs on the plateau and a long red run back to the center. The second, also known as the Penken, is connected to the center by the Penkenbahn and consists of 125 kilometers of slopes. It's actually home to four mountains, Horberg, Rastogel, Egaun, and Penken. Experts can test their limits and try the Harakiri, the steepest piste in Austria. 
This piste runs at an incline of up to 78 degrees. To take a steeper incline, you'd have to jump out of a plane. Fortunately, the Harikiri run is short, so get into position, close your eyes and think of England, or whatever place you come from, and enjoy the ride. Freestylers can find one of Europe's best snow parks here too, Vans Penken Park. At a height of 2,100 metres, it is divided into six separate areas on the sunny side of Horberg Mountain. Providing for pros and beginners and guarantees everyone a huge amount of fun. It's one of the rare snow parks out there with a designated chairlift. There is a traditional high level of teaching standards in Meyerhofen. Almost all of the instructors speak English and pride themselves on injecting plenty of fun into their lessons. There are plenty of ski schools to choose from here and at good prices too. The main ski school meeting point is at the Penkenbahn top station near restaurant Piltzbar. One of the cons of Meyerhofen and the Zillertal Valley is that each ski school only teaches in its own ski area. So if you take a six day group guide, you won't be able to ski in the other ski areas of the valley. At the end of the video, we'll give you a useful tip for people who still need lessons, but want to explore the whole of the Zillertal Valley. Since the construction of the new Penken Barn, there are almost no lines in the mornings, except Sundays during the peak season. If you stay on the outskirts of town, you may want to consider taking a small ski bus ride to Horbergbahn to avoid the inconvenience. Meyerhofen itself is relatively easy to get around. Hauptstrasse is the main street in the town and it's surrounded by bars, restaurants and a good variety of shops. Regarding Apres Ski, we recommend you pay a visit to Piltzbar and Elchbar on your ski back to the village. But don't forget, the Penken cable cars only run until 5pm. From here, you can head down the mountain to enjoy the Apres Ski options in the town. Take a left when exiting the Penken barn and grab your first beer in town at the Ice Bar. For the hungry non-vegan, cross the street to Gasser with amazing local meat delicacies at cheap prices and line your stomach for the evening adventure. Then head to Borkenstadl, the Apres ski that's located between the bridge at the end of Halbstrasse and the Ahorn parking lot, where the party continues late into the night. For calmer pubs, try the Scotland Yard pub, aka Scotty's, or Moe's. At weekends there are usually special parties. Ask the locals or your rep about it. Meyerhofen offers a public pool and spa, as well as ice skating rink. Before we wrap up, here are our numbers for Meyerhofen. For beginners, 8. Intermediates, 7.5. Advanced skiers, it's an 8. For snowboarders, 8. Free riders, 7. Free stylers, 9. Apres ski, 8.5. Nightlife, 8. Resort charm, 8.5. Now, before we share our final score and our promised special tips, here are our conclusions on Meyerhofen. On one hand, the town is charming and vibrant. The lifts are state of the art, and between the four largest ski areas of the Zillertal, there are no less than 419 kilometers of ski runs. On the other hand, the geography of Meyerhofen, with its low altitude and the separation between the town and ski area, and the ski areas themselves, 
causes unnecessarily wasted time and effort to actually get from your hotel to the slopes. So, considering all of the above, our total score for Meyerhofen is 8. Here are our tips for a ski holiday in Meyerhofen. For advanced skiers who want to utilise the Tupacilatal ski pass, we recommend that you stay close to the train station. Spend two days skiing the main area of Meyerhofen, two days to the Tsilatal Arena, one or two days to Ski Optimal, and one day to the Hintertux. For intermediates who still need a little coaching, but want to explore the whole of Tsilatal, we recommend, as mentioned before, not to book group lessons, but to book a private instructor for two hours in each ski area. That way, you won't be confined to Meyerhofen for the whole week, and as well as the technical tuition, you'll pick up some bonus tips from the local guide who knows the respected ski area well. It can be a little costly for an individual, but is reasonably priced for two to four skiers. For beginners, we recommend you book accommodation as close as possible to the Penken lift, and if your budget doesn't allow for that, to hire a locker at Penken's top station. And here's our final tip. In the second part of March, when the snow can be very slushy, particularly on the south-facing runs, we recommend that you ski in Hintertux, where the snow is good all season. The Hintertux also served as the escape place of the Tsilatal. When there are low clouds and bad weather, you can ski there, just above the clouds, and enjoy a sunny weather. We'd really appreciate if you liked this video, add it to your favourites list, and send it to your ski buddies. If you want to stay up to date and receive a new review on different ski resorts every weekend or two, you'll make our day if you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to push the chime on the right, so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified.